Uh, would you please welcome the man who captained Hull City in all four divisions of the Football League? It is Ian Ashby. Yeah. Out to Ashby, gets it back into Junior Lewis. Back come to Ashby again at the curler from Ashby. Oh, what a goal from Ian Ashby! Early squall of pressure from Hull City, and they've got a second goal as well. Ashby arriving. Is this on? Hello. Yeah, it's on. Yeah, you can you can stand up for a minute. Not we'll stand up for a minute. Um, they still like you, Ash. Oof, yeah, I'm not sure. I bet some of them have booed me over the years. I know who you are as well. Don't you worry. Come on, forgive sit down, you. Ash. We'll sit down. I don't want to sit down. I want to look at them all. You joined City. Um, Jan Molby signed you. Um, tell us about that. Um, he, I met him in Birmingham. He was at Kidderminster at Harriers, I think he was at the time. And then he rang me uh, and just said, "Do I want to go to Hull?" <laughs> I said, yeah, no problem, let's go, yeah. I was going to go to Oxford, I think Oxford were one, and I think QPR were the same, I was a free transfer. Um, and I, I drove to Hull, came down the M62, it's in the port cabins up near the spa, is there a spa under the ground at Boothry Road? Was it spa or something like that? The, the super... <laughs> was it? Well, that was it, yeah. We, I seen that and I thought, yeah, I'm sold, and <laughs> I'm in. <laughs> Stunk, it stunk of wee. I've just seen a little girl there, so I won't swear. It stunk of wee, and I, I thought, yeah, this is a bit of me. I, I loved it. Um, and it was, I, I never looked back from there, to be fair. Yeah, it's a good answer. I wasn't expecting that one. <laughs> yeah, I loved it. Bruford Park, I used to love Bruford Park. I thought it was great. I loved it. It was, for I'm sure you all did, yeah. Yeah, for all its faults, it had real yeah, character. Yeah, it did, didn't yeah. It? You know, when you, it, 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 everyone, there was always a pitch invasion. I was loving it. Like, I was just kissing, I was kissing people on the heads. I think we were losing and stuff. I got sent off, I think, as well, and I got kissing people on the head and everything. So it was, uh, it was, it was great. I loved it there, and it was proper football, like, not proper football, it was a proper old ground with, um, you know, like I said, smelling of wee. Um, and it was, yeah, I loved it, I really did. But yeah. I've, I obviously, a big reason I came to it was that I knew that we were, we were moving on to, to come to the KC. That was a massive pull for me. And, you know, obviously I knew the fan base was big and playing in, I think I've been playing in front of 3,000 at Cambridge uh, to come to you guys. And they were getting, you know, 10s to 15s week in, week out. It was, uh, it was where I wanted to be and I could see a future for myself. You had a very Ian Ashby sort of debut, didn't you? <laughs> did I? Oh, yeah, of course. <laughs> yeah, I did, yeah. For those that maybe don't remember or, you know... I remember, how old people well, in here? Well, well, well exactly, no. but too young to remember, perhaps, yeah. as well, but it was an Ian Ashby, sort, right. of, it was, it was an Ian Ashby sort of debut, wasn't it? Yeah, it was, yeah. I think, uh, yeah, it was. You got sent off. Yeah, I got sent off. On your debut. For yeah, City. I know, yeah. You, you never looked back, did you? Really? Not really, no, I never, to be fair. But, you know, obviously now I was... I would, I would probably do things slightly different, be more professional. Um, the game's obviously moved on slightly, but I don't know what it, you know, you, you, you're trying to make an impression and, and, and stamp your authority on, on the game, so. You stamped on something, huh? Yeah, it was definitely stamped on something, yeah. But it, it, it cost me a fortune over the, the nine and a half years I was here. It cost me an absolute fortune. If only you could afford to buy a decent watch. I know, a decent watch, yeah, it's fake, don't you worry. <laughs> <laughs> if anyone wants to try and mug him outside, good luck with David that. Mailers is more expensive than this to get his. <laughs> He's on the proper money, wasn't he, in the Prem? Um, I, I want to talk about some of your goals, Ash. Your first goal... What goals? Go on, then. Well, yeah. well, that's it. Next question. No, no, no. <laughs> you do yourself a disservice. Your first goal was against Leicester for City in the League Cup. Your first league goal for City... I remember it well, and, and funny enough, I looked it up on YouTube the other day, it is actually on there. It was an absolute core crash, and you made, it was a 4-1 win, and you made, Peter Taylor's first game in charge, when, when he joined us, obviously, um, you made a habit of scoring some absolutely fantastic goals. You didn't score many, granted. Well, yeah. You, you did score some cracking goals. Yeah, I did, to be fair. I'll, uh, I'll take that little bit of uh, appreciation from you, Al, because I didn't really venture too far into the opponent's half. Uh, I sort of stayed around that middle bit or just at the back there trying to boot everybody. Um, so when I did, yeah, I just used to lash or, uh, you know, try and score a goal and get on the team sheet. And I have scored some important goals in there, and they were, they, were, they were goals that I can't believe actually came from my right foot. <laughs> this was a volley just outside the area. Great, great goal. 4-1 win down at Torquay. You'll remember the other scorers obviously being a team player, won't you, Ash? Yeah, Greeny. 
He's got one right. To be Stu fair. Green. Yeah. Oh, give me a second. John, John Anderson. Yeah. Big John. There's another one. Yeah. Four one. There's got to be three. Yeah, but could have been somebody scored two goals out. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. 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 Fair enough. I <laughs> uh, can't remember anyone else now. Phil Jevons. Oh, Phil Jevo. Yeah. Really? No, I forgot about that. Yeah, forgot about him. He was a good goal scorer, to be fair, wasn't he? Yeah. 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 Uh, great start for Peter Taylor, who who had some great success at clearly. He was he was to back promotions. Yeah, he, to be fair, Peter Taylor. I mean, you'll probably remember he didn't come in on a Monday. I didn't like Mondays, did he? He used to send. Um, he used to have because his wife wanted him down in wherever he lived, so he never turned up on a Monday. So the lads used to get steaming on a Sunday. <laughs> <laughs> Because um, it was, what was his name? Steve Butler used to come in, but he was as weak as <laughs> wet paper bag. Um, so I was just like, Steve, just the lads are fine. They're a bit tired from the weekend. But, and then he'd give you the Tuesday off. So we went out on the Monday night as well. Because <laughs> uh, uh, I got both, I got both obviously very professional towards the end. And then it was a bit old school when I first started. But that never happened every week for all the people who were looking at me like that. <laughs> I wanted to ask you about one other goal, actually, that you scored. Uh, hugely important goal, one of the most important goals in the whole city's history, and that's no exaggeration, the, the winner down at Yeovil. <clears throat> yeah, it was, uh, yeah, it was a good one, to be fair, and I actually meant that as well, so it was, it was, uh, it was great, yeah. I, I show my son pretty much every week, that goal, um, still. Uh, it was great, yeah, we, was, we were huffing and puffing to get promoted. We were definitely, uh, it was going to happen, but I, we, we, I think we stumbled a little bit across the, uh, across the line. A bit of nerves, you know, there's a lot of pressure, but the club had not been promoted for, I don't know, 19, 20 years or something at that point. So, and a club this size, it's, um, you know, it's scandalous really, but, um, you know, we did, we, we, we did it eventually. Uh, and yeah, it was a good goal that, that, that sealed it and, and we went up. Yeah, I don't know if you would remember, and I meant to mention this before we came on, but um, I was doing the commentary on Humberside that day and I was on the pitch afterwards interviewing you as the captain and asked something like, how do you feel, Ian? Mm. Oh, no, oh, no yeah, I can't. There's a, a young lady there. Yeah, I do, yeah. I swore didn't I think. Language, no, yeah, I can't, no. Live on the BBC, which is not good now, but then it was just totally frowned on and Ash came out with the F-bomb everywhere. I feel absolutely <laughs> fantastic and all the rest of it. Yeah, and it was great radio unless you were offended by it, which quite a few people were. But anyway. I, didn't, I, got, I didn't get in trouble for it, so I must have been all right eventually. Oh, did you? Yeah. <laughs> good. I'm glad. <laughs> um... Some serious things, good serious things. You, you captain City to promotion 2004, 2005, and of course in 2008. Um, you captain City in the, the first ever uh, Premier League fixture that we had as well. And uniquely at the time, you were the only captain to have captained mm. a team through all four divisions. That must have given you a, a huge sense of pride then, I'm sure. But looking back as a more mature man, mm. even more so, I guess. Yeah, I mean, you know, it's... I came here to get promoted, I think, with um, Mulby. I think that's the aim. And then you, f you kind of lose people along the way, don't you? You know, I'm not saying I, I had a level, but my level was... He was playing in the third division, so that's your level at that time. I was, co I was confident in my own level because I come from a good, a good footballing uh, club, in, as in Derby County. I, played for, I represented England under 18, so I'd had, I had some kind of pedigree. I definitely believe me losing my dad was... Uh, I went off the rails, not off the rails, but I went a little bit wrong. Um, so, you know, it kind of, Hull for me was something that kind of got hold of my career as much as I, I did, you know, trying to get hold of the team here. And I, I grew with the, with the club as, as, as much as the team. And, you know, like I said, I was, I, we got promoted the first year, right, can I do it in the next division? People were asking the question, blah, blah, blah. Yes, did that. Got promoted there, um, you know. Can he do it in the championship? Yeah, people saying no, you can't. Blah blah blah. No problem. It was, you know, for me that's an opinion, and, and that's that's completely everyone's opinion. They're entitled to that opinion. Did it bother me? Absolutely not. I wasn't I wasn't a weak-minded person, and I, I wasn't brought up that way, and I, 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 I'm not that way. So that kind of was a fuel for me to use to sort of prove people wrong. You know, we went into the Premier League, and they brought George, George Botang in to, to replace me, and I was thinking that's not happening, George. <laughs> And he'd been in the Premier League for 15 years or however long you want to say. And he was unbelievable. He was at Aston Villa. I remember watching him. I was thinking, it's not happening, George. And I played all season, you know. So I had something within me that just wouldn't allow people to sort of knock you. And, and, and like I said, I grew with the football club. I, I, I understood and I know my limitations. I tried to be um, as honest and genuine as I could and, you know, keep it as simple as I possibly could. Uh, and, it, and it worked out for me, um, you know. And 
was I an eight out of, an, out of ten every week? No, I wasn't, but I was a six and a seven, and they're the kind of people you need, three or four of them, to, to go under the radar, to, to let the lads who are the tens and the nines week in, week out, to take all the accolades, and I, I'm happy, I was happy to do that. Very well put, I think. Very well put. Um, and in terms of, of being able to achieve what you achieved there, it, it was about not just your ability, because clearly to play anywhere near those kind of levels, you've got to have ability. But you touched on it there, really. It was more about your personality and the strength of your personality and maybe and, and a belief in your own ability, of course, as well. Yeah, listen, me being captain of this football club, I've probably had more players in the dressing room probably not like me as like me but love me at three o'clock when I'm standing next to him in the tunnel or on the pitch. I wasn't here, and I, this is not a real, this is not a nasty thing. I wasn't here to make friends. Of course, you make them along the way. Um, and I still speak to a lot of the lads now. Um, and a, a lot, even some of them say now that they understand the way I was as a person and the way I was in the change room, the way I was in training. I didn't want to lose in training. I didn't want to do anything. I'd get the ump. You know, I would, but I would, not boot people, but I wouldn't be waiting around in training. I would go in in training to try and replicate what I, what, what I thought was required on a Saturday afternoon. That's not me trying to be some kind of hard man enough. It's just how I was within my own drive or whatever. And I thought if I wasn't doing that, I would lose a bit of me. And that, that's not what I would take onto a, to a pitch on a Saturday afternoon. So, you know, it was... I wouldn't say I was going to pictures or going to Nando's every every night with the lads, but uh, I know for a fact that at three o'clock um, they'd all be glad that I was one of the first on the team sheet standing next to them and, and they'd know that no matter what happens on there, I'd always be there for, for whatever, try and take a pressure off. If if you guys weren't happy with a the performance, then I would be the one that would go in, in, the, cha in, the, in the, the press, in the papers and, and just try and try and be a captain or learn how to be a captain with people because people like Sam Ricketts was a, a blithering wreck at quarter to three. The geezers played for, he played for Wales, a very good player, but a blithering wreck. But, you know, I knew how to deal with Sam Ricketts on a day-to-day -day basis. I know how to deal with Dino differently. You know, you've got, you got to get different people and, and try and work that out. And I think I was quite good at that towards the end, to be fair. Well, halfway through, to be fair. Yeah, I admire anybody who could um, work Dino out and sort him out. Right, listen, I've not worked him out. <laughs> you need more than me to work Dino out, mate. <laughs> How's your memory? Well, I don't know. Okay. <laughs> can't remember. Can't remember. <laughs> it's all about this month that I'm going to ask you. Not necessarily this October, but October's. Can you remember what you were doing this month 16 years ago? Can't remember. <laughs> Can you remember what you were doing this month 15 years ago? Can't remember. You're playing this game well, Ash. Cheers, mate. I know that he's going to you know, mess it up at some I point. I won't. I'd love Are to, sure? but I won't. OK. This month, 13 years ago, Ash, what were you doing? Any memories of it? Can't remember. OK. What year? Last chance. <laughs> Last chance. Yeah. Do you, do you remember what you were doing? It's an event that concerned you <laughs> back in October 12 years ago. So we've gone through four different Octobers in four different years. No, no, don't, no help from these guys. No, no, no. I'm going to ban this lot anyway. You can't ban them, can you? Well, well I can't. Yeah. Uh, am I supposed to answer this one? Or am I... No, no, no. If, right. you, if you don't I've... remember, you don't well, remember. Well, no, I don't remember. Can't remember. Right. 16 years ago this month, you were sent off against Berry. Who? Oh? Berry. Berry. Do you know what that was for? 15 Diving. years ago this month, you were sent off against Chesterfield. <laughs> oh, right. 13 years ago this month, you were sent off against South End. <laughs> and 12 years ago this month, you were sent off for scrapping against Charlton. What's your <laughs> problem with October, Ash? I don't know. I don't know. I'm not sure. Hulk Fair, innit? Do you know what I mean? I have too many of them brandy snaps. <laughs> too many brandy snaps. It's does me head in. I start losing my head. <laughs> Ladies and gents, that is, the, uh, that is it for the first half. Give you thanks, please, to Ian Ashby. <laughs>